Welcome to the HP PalmTube channel. Today I'm gonna add another game to our Will It Play list of reviewed games um, for the HP 200LX. Um, I'm gonna be reviewing an action game today uh, for a change. Um, it's a game called Prehistoric. It's developed and released by Titus in 1991. Uh, and it is fully supported on the HP 200LX. And the version that I'm running here has been uh, patched to support the Certico S2P GM synth. Um, when we start the game, it'll actually program the S2P to emulate an MT32 by modifying the sound patches and the game will use the S2P like an MT32 sound uh, card. Well, a module or an LAPC1 card. The music is uh, not bad. It's not the best game music, uh, but it's still okay. I mean, it does the job. It's not as good as some of the other games I've reviewed pr previously, but I think it's still pretty good. So here's our intro. And we're basically a sort of a prehistoric Stone Age character. Um, the game is a side scrolling platformer, so it's a pure action game. Um, and the keys are quite easy it's space uh, to use your weapon. Uh, which is like a large cudgel uh, and the arrow keys to move, uh, jump and enter caves which are distributed throughout the levels. So to start the game we just push space and as you see the game will start loading level one. Now I'm not really good at action games and definitely not good at this game. Um, I've played it for half an hour, a little bit more, uh, before the review, but it's, it's quite fun and it's definitely playable, so let's get started with level one. So we can run around with the arrow keys, jump with up, and space is our weapon, our cudgel. So if we continue, so the whole point is to grab the food destroy the enemies, which I'm not very good at, especially from this camera angle, to jump over the fires, here, that's one down, another one down, Going up and right, there's an egg here which I can smash open and jump over here, smash these rocks, going here, there's another fire and some bats. Spider, which we can't kill, we just need to run through it. Oh, that's no good. It's also not helping a lot that this specific camera setup that I'm using makes it a little bit hard for me to see the screen. I'm looking at it from an angle. Fire. 
go up. Oh. no good the end as you can see I'm not very good at this game but it's definitely a lot of fun I just need some more practice um, I think the game is quite fun the music is uh, moderately good it's definitely fun that the s2p is supported on the 200 LX with this patched version um, and you know for an action game it's quite fun to play uh, so let's bring up our game fitness score table and we'll go over my scores so for graphics so we have our visibility and LCD refresh I'm going to award it at two out of three uh, mainly because of the LCD refresh I'm taking a point off uh, because of it because the game does get a bit blurry when you're scrolling and running around I mean you do get used to it quite rapidly and it looks a lot better in real life than on the camera uh, so it's definitely very well playable but the LCD refresh does cause some issues sometimes um, with the action uh, the aspect ratio I'm giving it the one out of one points because it does not seem to have any major impact on the gameplay sure everything is a little bit squashed vertically but it really doesn't impact the game in any way sound I'm gonna give it a full three out of three because it supports uh, not only um, an, an OPL 3 LPT via patching but also an MT32 or in this case a parallel port S2P which has been uh, programmed to emulate the MT32 so 3 out of 3 for music uh, controls I'm going to give it a 2 out of 3 um, so the controls are completely keyboard based uh, space is your weapon and the arrow keys function to move around get into caves and jump um, I'm not giving it a full three out of three because the jumping with the up button is a little bit difficult um, but yeah it's still very controllable and once you get a little bit of practice in it plays quite well so uh, I'm going to give it a total of 7 out of 10 which is a rating of good um, it's probably not the best game to play for a long time on the platform because it is not easy it's quite a hard game so you'll probably be dying a lot and restarting so um, finally on our ranked list of games I'm going to place it at number four the lowest spot with the seven out of ten uh, so it's gonna go right under Budokan which has eight out of ten points and uh, finally um, I would like to uh, talk to you about a new forum which is available called HPC Factor and on the HPC Factor forums there is a specific HP DOS Palm Tops forum uh, where you can come and read and discuss and ask questions and get support about uh, these wonderful nostalgic pieces of hardware uh, the HP uh, 95, 100, 200 LX and the 1000 CX and uh, that wraps it up for today thank you very much for watching please leave a like and a comment and consider subscribing to my channel I could really use more subscribers in order to keep making uh, these videos so thanks for watching